Yeah. Uh, Just getting here by the pier. Had a bunch of errands to run today, like so many meetings and stuff like that. Um, um, yeah, yeah, about to eat food for the first time of the day. It's now. It's now 434. Not too sure if you can see that. But if you can't, it's 434 right now. Uh, it's hot as hell out here. I don't even know why I have this jacket on. I don't need it. I was a little bit nippy earlier because the clouds were out and shit like that, but the clouds are gone now and it looks like sunshine all day. I'm uh, gonna eat this food for right now. Uh, chill here for a little bit, have a bunch of errands to do. We're supposed to get a haircut, we're supposed to do laundry, but yeah, it turns out I have a bunch of work to do in the city again. So yeah, it's gonna be that type of day. Nothing too interesting, nothing too crazy, but just a bunch of work. So like, yeah, let me get to it and eat my food. I'll see you guys uh, in a few. By the way, this is my meal. Yeah, eating healthy today, you already know chickpeas, lettuce, corn, raisins, and croutons. And that's about it. Uh, honey mustard dressing. Listening to a bunch of conversation. And <sighs> I just need time to just like refresh myself. Might go to Dunkin' Donuts and get that. I get a tropical mango smoothie. Uh, large. Thank you. At this time. Dumb refreshing. Perfect. One more time. Shout out to Dunkin' Donuts Tropical. Tropical mango smoothie type shit. Go get that. I was gonna ask you a question because we we had a we just had an interview the other day and you said something that I sort of has stuck with me uh, about what you know what makes you afraid and we were talking about this and Denzel said uh, I don't even remember saying this to me but you said you attract what you fear right and I've since we spoke I've just been thinking about that all the time what are you afraid of and do you agree with that comment that you attract what you fear. Apparently, I'm afraid of great actors. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, positively or negative. I mean, you attract. No, you know, not just what you fear. You attract what you feel, what you are, what you attract. What's yeah, on your mind. Yeah, What's on your mind? Yeah, it's, it's yeah, like exactly. the law of physics. I don't know how anybody can disagree with that. It's, it's just, 
Ask any physicist, they'll tell you that, David, that it's true. Yeah. The David Mamet wrote I think wrote it's a a really a marvelous thing, that visualization thing you did. Do mm -hmm. you all read about this or hear this? That you used to go up on Mulholland Drive and park yeah, every night. and visualize seeing yourself as... Yeah, I would visualize... Uh, yeah, I would this visualize, is when you were broke and poor. You know, right, having mm -hmm. directors interested in me and people that I respected uh, um, saying, you know, I like your work or mm -hmm. whatever that is. And, and uh, I would visualize things coming to me that I wanted or whatever. This and, was in uh, like 1987, 85? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I had nothing at that time, so it was like, it, but it just made me feel better. It made me, at that time, all it really was for me was kind of making me feel better. I would drive home and think, well, I do have these things, and they're out there. I just don't have a hold of them yet, but they're out there. Self-help books or whatever? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. self-help section. Self-help section. They renamed it the Jim Carrey <laughs> wing. <laughs> just this, I have an insane belief in my own ability to manifest things. <laughs> Insane a belief, you know, that I think it's ultimately complete sanity, but I believe we're creators, and I believe we create with every thought and every word is, every moment is pregnant with the next moment of your life. Total believer, yeah. I believe in uh, manifestation. I believe in, uh, you know, <clears throat> putting a rocket of desire out into the universe, and, and you get it when you believe it. You get it when you believe you have it, and that's the key. Is like people still they sit around going, "When's it going to come? When's it going to come? When's it going to come? When's it going to come?" And that's the wrong way. You're you're facing the wrong way. You're facing away from it. You have to go. It's here. It's here. It's here. Are you aware that? Do you have the distinct, palpable feeling that your intention created this evening as well as Melissa's? Do you understand that that all of this? this entire event is happening inside you write yourself a check i heard yeah. that you did is that true i wrote myself a check for 10 million dollars for acting services rendered and i gave myself uh five years or three years maybe and uh and uh, i dated it thanksgiving 1995 and i put it in my wallet and i kept it there and it deteriorated and deteriorated and stuff and uh and uh but then just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was going to make $10 million on, I think it was Dumb and Dumber. Maybe. Dumb and Dumber. Our intention, our intention is everything. Nothing happens on this planet without it. Not one single thing has ever been accomplished without it.